Here's a case of a 50-year-old female who uh, came to my office complaining of neck pain and lower back pain. And uh, for a number of years, she would have this neck or lower back pain uh, come back uh, three to four times a year, and it's always on the left side. So I decided to, uh, to test, uh, do just a quick neurological test to find out uh, what kind of neurological uh, association this problem had. And uh, so found out that uh, the left side of her body was weaker than the right. So this is the test that I picked. I, I tested the left and right anterior deltoid as well as the left and right hip flexor and found immediately that the left side was weaker. And I also tested the distal extensors and, and they were also weaker on the left side. So uh, this confirmed a left cerebellum deficiency. First thing I wanted to do to confirm that uh, a treatment would help improve that is I did a passive left arm, left leg, uh, counterphase uh, infinities or complex movements. And that did not improve the weakness. And so uh, the next step would be to, uh, to have it done actively and I suspected that it would improve it. But before I did it with uh, the arm and leg, uh, or rather have the patient do the, the movement herself, um, I decided to use an eye movement strategy. And uh, this would be a, uh, a left cerebellum, right brain eye movement strategy. And uh, what I noticed is that after doing this uh, left cerebellum, uh, right brain eye strategy, her left arm and left leg were much stronger. Um, and this also... Uh, indicates that a left cerebellum uh, treatment, which uh, left complex movement actively, um, you know, an eye movement strategy such as this one, uh, as it is uh, repeated, would help to improve stability of her left side and strength. And um, along with uh, my other uh, chiropractic treatments, um, the expectation is that the pain would uh, stay at bay.